So like this field, we have seen customer pricing procedure in previous. Let's try to check what is relevant for settlement management. Okay, if you know rebates in ECC, you can understand this field very well, but let me try to explain you. This is the field I can able to show you theoretically as of now. So if you really want to learn, you can able to try my settlement management course in Udemy. Okay, anyhow, so this is the field actually. Okay, so if you go to the billing, okay, you can able to find one more field, rebate. Okay, so now officially rebates got moved into your settlement management in S4 HANA, but still rebate concept is available. Why? Because so it is get integrated with uh, there is something like trade promotions in CRM and and a few other uh, old systems for they don't want to uh, use settlement management. They can able to still they can able to use the rebates. Okay, but that is you will have a different factors to use rebate. Okay, so if you would like to determine a rebate, okay, three places it need to be three prerequisites it need to be activated. Okay, in the similar way for settlement management also for calculation of your rebates and your royalties or else can be price deals. A lot of things you can able to captured that's why so all of the different concepts which is relevant for a rebate management we, uh, all all has taken into one umbrella called settlement management in s4 hana okay so what exactly it is okay so first you try to understand what exactly the rebate rebate actually it is an uh, it is not an instant discount and it has retroactive in nature and it will be calculated based on your sales volume or else certain duration as a fixed uh, privilege for your customer for example you have one distributor okay d1 and you have another distributor called d2 and you have another distributor called d3 okay suppose instantly you are giving a material discount i'm just trying to differentiate what exactly difference between your discount and rebate okay if you give material discount okay suppose if your invoice value is thousand i'm just uh, giving 10 percent means 100 here invoice value is 2000 so 10 percent means 200 okay so it will be deducted from your gross and finally it will arrive net value as this one as 900 and this one as uh what do you call 1800 okay and for example if you take okay so in the similar way you can give material discount customer material discount customer group discount or else price list discount you will have a different ways different criteria to give a discount okay but whereas rebate you will say that you will have an agreement between this distributor and this distributor so assume that if you reach okay so maybe like I can take that, you know, 10 lakh worth of the sales volume. If you done, I'm just giving. So 1% is rebate. Okay. This is also one kind of discount only. But when you reach target only, I'll try to settle, settle down. Uh, so before closing of the agreement or else in the form of the partial uh, or partial payments, I can able to do that. Certain times we will do corrections as a delta payments. All these are the different terminals related to your rebates and your settlement management. So the difference is that, so you will calculate, but you don't give to your uh, your customer immediately like an instant discount, okay? You will try to pay later. It has a retroactive in nature. That means, suppose the agreement, suppose it be started from Jan to uh, December, a financial year so assume that you have already so agreement having done okay later we have a plans like you know it is passed till um, uh, maybe march or april okay assume that you know april only will come to know that you know we are going to have uh, we are going to give the rebate for this financial year 
okay so almost a, a quarter is over okay in april that means like you know january february march is over april month and assume that or else you know may first or oh, first four months for whatever the invoice it is generated on that invoice also we can able to apply the repeat okay we can able to redetermine the condition types and recalculate it that's why it will call it as a retroactive in nature agreement can be done from january to december in april or may but still we can able to consider whatever the invoices it is got generated so as part of the target net value okay this is one thing so what exactly so in ecc uh, one thing is that you have to identify that on which invoice uh, is you are going to calculate rebates okay which invoices which invoice documents you are using so relevancy okay relevancy you can call it call it as relevancy that means so f2 or else any other document type for that matters next one is your payer partner okay that means your customer and third one is your sales org okay under which sales organization under which sales process uh, and uh, under which sales organization what kind of products they are selling which what are all eligible okay that you have to consider these are the three places these are three pre prerequisites you need to be activate for rebates to work actually so okay this this person is relevant for settlement management or not again it will be activated like this okay this is the first place and second one is let me show you relation as we are go reference img so let's go to the enterprise structure definition and sales organization let's go for this place so let's go to our sales organization so here rebet procedure active okay even it is for your settlement management also okay you need not change the text actually third one is let's go to view fa your billing document type for example if you go to f2 you would like to consider all the invoices with the help of document whatever it is got created so relevant for repeat all these are the three places must be activated okay to calculate repeat so in the similar way for settlement management also you go to the sales organization and billing document type and third one is your uh, like you know the place where in the bp role it need to be activated okay so this is now you can understand that okay so this is pair or you can call to sold to this is also one of the parameter okay need to be activated for settlement management as of now this is theory if you really want to have that good knowledge you can try this course okay so this is just uh, 3.5 hours with 14 lectures so i have uh, you know very closely explained with the utmost care about rebate or settlement management okay now you understood right what exactly it is so you are sold to our uh, bp is one of the parameter to to activate settlement management okay we'll consider it under this uh, customer whatever the invoices which is got created that is eligible for settlement management okay for uh, settlement agreement and settlement uh, you know settlement uh, conditions determination that's a different story actually okay we'll try to see in in further sessions thank you so much wishing all the best have a great day if really us to learn this i i would love this uh, process actually i put a lot of efforts to explain with three different scenarios better try this course and or else it will be captured after some time so the, it should require you know specific treatment certain courses that's why it need to be separated so wishing you all the best let's catch up in next session have a great day